Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Caterpillar CT660 Semi version 2.0. This was my favorite semi over in Farming Simulator 15 and 17. This is an early version, it definitely needs some work, but I thought I'd bring it to your attention and review it for you. So what I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs, then I'll test it out and show you just how it works. So let's take a look. Okay, so once again, this is the Caterpillar CT660 Semi version 2.0. File size for this is 83.4 megabyte. There is errors in the log. There's definitely some things that he could work on there. There's only one engine size. The power for this is 405 kilowatts and 550 horsepower. The price in the shop as is 175,000 with the zero dollar day maintenance fee. It has a max speed. It says 100 kilometers an hour, but it only actually does 80. Now, some of the things he needs to work on or when you buy this the lights are on automatically and they don't really light up on the bulbs it just appears on the ground and uh, it has a silent engine there's no engine noises for some reason which really sucks but hopefully they can fix that because this thing definitely has potential for what it is it works really great so far most people will be familiar with this truck if they played the last one okay so we'll go over the shop very quick here that'll be under trucks Let's go over a little bit. There it is there. Like I said, 175000 in the shop. There's no uh, different options here. Hopefully that could be fixed in an update, add a little bit more. Uh, bigger engine size, more horsepower would be nice. But it, for what it is, it handles really great and uh, it will get up to about 80 kilometers an hour. So not bad. You do have a color palette here to choose from. So not bad. And start it up. Now you can see the lights on the ground. You can see the other colors I bought there. You see the lights on the ground, but they're not actually lit up, the bulbs. Okay, but one good thing is, when you look inside, look at that interior. They did a really fine job with that. Looks like the mirrors are working. A little cloudy, but the inside looks great. The speedometer doesn't work, but there's pretty good detail in there. Let's take it for a little spin. Now, it does drive well. I have to say it's just not as peppy as the one I had in 17 now I how I hauled a trailer with this a million liters and it seemed to handle it just fine so you can see the speed does take a little bit to build up there it says 100 but it only actually goes 80 but I'm glad this mod is out and hopefully they can update this to work just as well as the one in 17 Give it the metallic paint jobs would be nice. More power. All more power is always good. Okay, we have a tipper just over here with a million liters in it, so I'll show you that it handles quite well. But, like I said, it definitely needs some work. It's, it's nice to see that this is here finally because this was my favorite semi in the last two farming simulators so look at that guys million liters it's pulling along just fine it seems to go the same speed with or without that much weight so it's handling it quite nice it's still 550 horsepower which isn't bad at all I have some seed and fertilizer here so look I'm up to 70 already like I said, it'll go up to 80, but not 100. So there you have it, folks. That was the Caterpillar CT660 version 2.0 semi. Fall size for that is 83.4 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to the channel, it really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.